Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. Not sure if I'm going to be putting this as a standalone video or if I'm just going to be adding it on to the end of the last one. So I guess we'll see when it gets to editing. But I got one of these, but this is an M2 to PCIe riser. Meaning you can use an M2 slot to plug in another GPU riser. So that's going to allow me to add a seventh GPU to this six GPU mining rig and I'm well underpowered, so there should be no problem there. Let's get to putting this in and uh, let's see how easy it is to use. Uh, from what I've heard, you can just plug this in and it'll recognize your, your seventh or extra or whatever, you know, your plus one GPU right away. I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but let's get to it and find out. So one thing I'm unsure of is if this needs to be powered. Uh, from what I've heard, it doesn't need to be, but this is a Molex on one side and it plugs into that four pin, like almost like fan looking connection on there. I'll have to do a bit of research here off camera and we'll figure out if I need to power this riser or if just plug it into the PCI. Okay, from what I'm reading, it sounds like it doesn't really need to get powered. We'll find out. Okay guys, so we got seven hooked up now. We're daisy chaining the two 1060s because they barely pull any power. Technically, the 6060s also pull very little power, but these are a much smaller card, much less powerful. Risers are plugged in. Uh, RTX 3070 has its own cable, as it always does, that was daisy chained. 1070 now has its own 8 pin instead of uh, using one of the 8 pins, or one of the 6 plus 2s here. It's got its own 6 plus 2. Risers are plugged in everywhere for the ones I moved. I basically had to reshuffle everything because these uh, red ones don't have this uh, powered extension. You plug the SATA directly into the riser, so it reduces the amount of uh, cord length you have, especially when you're dealing with daisy chain SATA cables. So <clears throat> something to keep in mind, but I'm not going to screw everything like into the mount in place right now. We're going to power it up and see if it sees everything, see if it knows what it's doing. If it doesn't, we'll have to go back to the drawing board and figure out why. Anyways, good luck to me. Let's, uh, let's find out what happens. Okay. On our device manager here, we have a 3070, three 1660 Supers, a 1070, and two 1066 gigs. Uh, it's going through that exclamation mark thing in the device manager while well, it loads the drivers and all the drivers are loaded. Sweet. So we have seven GPUs now. That is great. Let's go into the overclock. I've already used this card. So, I mean, it should have the OC setting saved because it'll know it's the same card. 70 plus 100 plus 500. And that is the same as the other one. Good. It's already overclocked. So that's a good sign. Oh, it's already been benchmarked. Well, that one went pretty easy. There was no hang ups there. Take this over to you guys. And you can see. Okay, let's turn the screen on so I know what you're seeing. Let's close the window, close the curtain so you can see a little better. Okay. 3070, still at 61. Three 1660s right here, all about the same, 
GTX 1070 just behind it, but of course using more power. And then yeah, two 1060s. So seven GPUs on Windows, nice hash, everything running well. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. No smoke, no plastic burning smell, none of that stuff. So that is gonna be it for now. Uh, I'll screw in these uh, up top into the wood and call it a day. All right, thanks for watching guys. Have a good day. Um, leave a comment down below, like or subscribe if you like this type of content and we'll talk to you later. Thanks.